are to watch our streaming this season. And our partnership with BBC Radio Lancashire means you'll be able to listen to their regular commentary, their regular online commentary on the streaming service. But tonight, it's myself, Greg Singleton, and Chris Cook, any moment now to guide you through tonight's action here at the North End. We'll also be covering tonight's match on Twitter, so uh, feel free to give us a shout out on there. Let us know where you're watching from. Hopefully, the coverage is going to be good. Let us know, please, if there's any issues. This is a trial run effectively in preparation for Saturday's first team encounter against AFC Telford United. So hopefully all will go well. A lot of effort has gone into this from a lot of people. Foot camera work done by Russell and Fred Dossett. And a new partnership with InPlayer to provide the streaming. We'll be back here on Saturday for the Telford match. And the commentary then will be through Dale Storey and Dave Remley, courtesy of BBC Radio Lincolnshire. And then on Tuesday night, it's Geisley here at the North End with myself and Mark Holmes. So plenty of action coming up for the Pilgrims. Kicking off tonight with the FA Youth Cup third qualifying round tie against Notts County. We are now at quarter to eight, not quite ready to kick off. Referee just drawing the two captains together. Finley Armand in United colours. And Tyrese Palmer for Notts County, the goal, one of the goal scoring heroes in the last round against Chesterfield. He also got one of the goals for Notts in their victory over Lincoln City in the league on Saturday. So the Magpies are in good form. Probably start tonight as favourites, given their higher place ranking in the uh, football world. But the Pilgrims, after their two victories already in this competition, more than ready for this evening's contest. Almost ready to get underway here at the North End. Not scanty to get us underway. And there we go, kicking from left to right as you look from the main stand here at the north end. Straight onto the attack. Not scanty, it's well defended by Joe Hardstaff in the right back position for the Pilgrims. Back with Knox across their back line. Ball spread wide to Morgan Mellors playing at right back. He passes it in field to Snedden and back out onto the left to Miles Wallace. We will be joined by the club record goal scorer and current director Chris Cook in a moment. I think he's got held up in a little bit of traffic. But he'll be here pretty soon as not win a throw in halfway inside the United Half Broken Horn and making his return from a shoulder injury today, heading it clear. Knox County on the ball through Morgan Mellows at right back. He spreads the play all the way once again across to Miles Wallace at left back. Ball goes forward, put out quite comfortably with hard staff. But it's a pretty easy gather for Knott's keeper Bill Harrison. He bowls it back out. Knott's come forward again, Mellors. Ah, right back now. Sorry, that was the centre half. Heather. Mellors was further forward. Mellors is going to take this throw in now on the Knott's County right. Magpies looking to make. A strong start here at the North End. Ball goes inside to Snedden. He switches it out wide. Left to Cameron Smith. He's going to try and take on Joe Hardstaff. Gets a ball in and it's cut out for the first corner of the game. And Knox County has that in front of the Blues Club. So, two minutes in here at the North End. And our summariser for the evening is fashionably late. He's arrived now, so he'll be with us any second. If he can squeeze past me on the commentary rope. And as the corner comes in, it's uh, palmed away by Jake Fresnel quite decisively. Stern Irvine retrieving the ball for Notts County, but it's swung behind, and it's a United goal kick. Good evening, Chris Cook. Good journey. Horrendous. 
uh, typical, mate. But uh, left at six and uh, didn't quite give ourselves enough time. Oh well, you're here now. You only missed a couple of minutes. Not missed much. Too noteworthy action, really. So uh, we're up and running. The new Boston United Live Service. It's not the same as having fans in grounds, but it's the next best thing, I think. Yeah, yeah, good crowd, really. Yep, North Home tonight is uh, permitted 600 spectators. I'm not sure we're going to quite get to those levels, but I bet there's a good couple of hundred here. People just keen to see see some football, I think. It's been far too long for fans of Boston United and Notts County, and although it's the, the youth teams playing tonight, I think they're getting good support from both sets of fans. Notts on the attack on the left-hand side. Cameron Smith again tries to take on Joe Hardstaff. He gets the cross in, but it flies harmlessly behind for a United goal kick, which Jake Fresser will take. So if you're just joining us, the Pilgrims have beaten West Bridgeford and Grantham Town to reach the stage. And not scared to a 2-0 victors over Chesterfield in the last round. And tonight's winners will progress to a first-round tie where Earlham in the Manchester area, so plenty at stake. If tonight's match is level after 90 minutes, it goes straight to penalties. No extra time in this year's FA competitions. So we might even have the drama of a penalty shootout tonight. Knox coming forward through Will Heather at the back. His right back is uh, quite a way advanced, but he's uh, not found the ball been switched over to the county left and United, well I thought United had won possession but uh, Taylor penalised for a foul and uh, Knox County have a free kick in the United half. Chris, your early thoughts? Uh, Knox look <coughs> superb on the ball I must admit and uh, the pitch uh, to their liking because the pitch is, looks in fantastic condition really and uh, correct the anchor trinity yeah, really very really good but uh, yeah, they've dominated the first five minutes and, and look very comfortable on the ball. Ball goes into the United box. Dilly goes up to try and win it. It's hacked clear by Horniman. United survive. Ben Johnson completes the clearance. And it's a throw-in fairly high up the pitch for Knox County, which Morgan Mellors will take in the right-back position. Looking for his striker, Tyrese Palmer, who's uh, the main man, should be safe for Notts County. He got the, one of the goals in the last round against Chesterfield. And he was then on target again against Lincoln City in the league on Saturday morning. So, a man in good form. And Notts win. Another corner. Looking very good, aren't they? they uh, looking to create space all the time in midfield and uh, going and getting the ball off the defenders and uh, playing good balls into the forwards. And they look a decent side in the first five or ten minutes, really. Yeah, I think they've still pretty much got a, a football league set up, which is what you expect from a club of. Not as candy statue, United clear that corner, it's cleared. Up to Wilkinson, he can't quite hold it in, but United do win. Throw in. Which their left back Ben Robin Ben Robert Robson will take. Yeah, I like Tom Wilkinson the centre forward. I must admit, um, when I went to uh, Arizona with the lads earlier on this year, and uh, he impressed me. Uh, not, not the biggest of lads, but holds it up well. And for his age, he, you know, he plays like that really. really so uh, I like to think there'll be good things for him to come in the next couple of years. Yeah, he's a Sleaford lad. I think he goes to Carl's Grammar School. His dad's head of PE there, I believe. He's uh, got a good pedigree. He got a hat trick in the last round, two of which were penalties, but he stuck them away well. And you'll know no better than everybody else if you can. Any opportunity to score as a striker, you'll take it. Yeah, yeah his dad actually used to play for Sleaford as well, didn't he? He, uh, he was a centre forward as well, so he's uh, that's a good pedigree, really. And uh, yeah, I like to see it. It's difficult when you're on your own up front as well. Um, because he does play on his own up front, and uh, but he does hold it up well, so we've got to get it into his feet a little bit, really, and then play off him. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting first half hour. I think. Yeah, I felt a little bit sorry for him at West Bridgeford in the first round because he, he he missed two or three good chances early on with the game at nil nil, and it it really wasn't his night. But it's, uh, it certainly was a goal for me. Uh, certainly stuck at it and got his goals that night, and that obviously set up tonight's clash. 
against Notts County, which is nil-nil as we enter the eighth minute. Craig Fressel just about to take a goal kick for the Pilgrims. You touched on it earlier about Gainsborough Trinity, but they are excellent hosts in our hour of need. He obviously played uh, the one game here for the first team, and there's, there's going to be two more over the coming days, all being well. COVID issues aside, um, and tonight's a youth cup tie as well. So a good playing surface and uh, some fantastic hospitality from Richard and Matt and the team here at Gainsborough Trinity. Notts County on the attack now down there, the left hand side. The ball comes in, it's stabbed half clear by Robson. And that wasn't too far wide from Ben Garwood, I believe, the Notts County number seven. Playing on the right, connected with his left foot, not too far wide of Jake Fresh's far post. Yeah, good effort. I must admit, um, I say Boston struggling to compete in the air against the big centre forward who's, uh, who's putting himself about a little bit. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be an uh, interesting game. Yeah, Boston's arguably most dominant player, the centre half, Owen Sheriff, isn't playing tonight, so that will be a, a loss for the Pilgrims. Um, he and Brogan Horneman played in the first round and then Bailey Dilly came in when one of them was injured. And now Sheriff's missing, the other two are paired, so but Sheriff really is a big, strong, physical presence. Uh, Bailey Dilly doing well there to hold up a Knox County attack. They wanted a free kick, but nothing given by referee Isfan Mod, and the ball's back with United keeper Jake Fressel, who, of course, is registered with the first team. He's uh, very highly rated. And you'd imagine he may have to make a save or two tonight if the Pilgrims are going to get through to this next round. Yeah. I've seen Bailey Dilly a couple of times this season, actually playing for Boston Town, and uh, he's a right back, really. And uh, today he put into an emergency uh, centre half, and uh, so that'll be difficult for him, but uh, he's done okay so far. Yeah, he played, I think, like you say, is predominantly right back. He played at centre half in the last round. Did a good job at Grantham. Yeah. Um, keeps his place tonight. Two changes. For the Pilgrims from that game, Owen Sheriff and Joe Melson both missing. Brogan Horniman and Lewis Allen coming into the starting 11 tonight. Notts County, as they've had put so far, plenty of possession, playing it out from the back. Stern Irvine to his fellow centre half, Will Heather, now out to the right back with Mellors. I think it's going to go out to the left now to Wallace. It's a familiar pattern though, no, going back to the right. To Mellors. He's looking for the ball into his striker. It's cut out by Allen. Ball back with Knox County now again. Mellors is the man who's touched it the most for Knox so far. Garwood cutting inside onto his left, onto his right. Back out wide now to Jeeves. Sam Jeeves is cut out. Clearance completed by Horniman and Tom Wilkinson off and running. He's trying to get the better of Heather here. Can he hold it up and wait for some support? He's done pretty well. He's given it to Ben Johnson. He's now played it on and it's put out by Wallace. Cleared by Mellors. Robson retrieves it for the Pilgrims. Now Waddington, who got two goals in that first victory over West Bridgeford, and it's a, not a corner. I thought that was a corner, Chris, but yeah. referees given a goal kick. Yeah, I must admit, I think everybody thought that was actually a good move and uh, ended with the uh, ball going out of a uh, Notts County man, but the uh, referee saw it otherwise. But uh, yeah, also speaking of um, players, uh, Jack Waddington. I like the look of him as well, he uh, did really well at Grantham again and uh, well he looks a decent play. player really, so uh, yeah, we've got some promising young lads in the uh, youth set up at the moment. I suppose it's the age-old problem, how do you transition from this level to the first team level, which is obviously a massive jump. And players nowadays don't necessarily want to be sat around in youth football, under 21, under 23 football when they're 19, 20, 21, do they? they want to be out playing first team football? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, we've said it quite a lot really in the last few years that um, disbanding the, uh, the reserve time uh, team a few years ago wasn't the, the best idea at the time, I don't think, really. And uh, I think um, probably within the next uh, year or 18 months, I'd like to think that uh, we'll be looking at reforming some sort of uh, reserve team really to get these lads uh, men's football again because uh, they desperately need that. And, um, you know, we don't want players going out too much um, and, and, and losing them as uh, 
16, 17, 18 year olds and yeah, when you can hold on to them until they're probably 20 and then make a decision on them regarding the first team then. So we'll see. Knotts, again, as has become a familiar trend so far, playing it out from the back. Irvine plays it longer this time, Robson cuts it out with a good covering header. But Knotts still have the ball, Jeeves. And it's been cut out again and United have the free kick. Boys, come on, come on! Come on! Yeah, Jake, let's take the free kick. Obviously, knock it into the channels. Um, Got to get possession a little bit more. I think really, uh, not scared to do look good in possession really. And uh, if we can you know, win it off and keep the ball ourselves a little bit more. Long kick has gone straight out for a goal kick. A decent knock, actually, but uh, nobody actually made the run into the, into the diagonal. But uh, a goal kick now to Notts County. Thank you to everyone for joining us tonight on Boston United Live with the commentary from myself, Craig Singleton, and Chris Cook as our summariser. We're just getting one or two messages saying good picture, but we've just lost the sound. So if that is the case and you are hearing this, hopefully you are. Um, if it's coming through, we are just tweaking things, just make sure we can uh, give you the best possible sound and vision at the same time. As Notts County win their fourth corner of the evening, which will be delivered right-footed. Jake Fressel caught really on his line, didn't really know whether to come for it. He didn't, and it, uh, the Pilgrims got away with it. That's a good knock. Good knock from uh, Ashton into the right diagonal. A through ball, but unfortunately, uh, the left one has been caught offside. But uh, no, uh, good diagonal move, and uh, unfortunately, being like I say, caught offside. Yeah, you could tell that the flag was going to go up. It was uh, slightly delayed, but it uh, it went up eventually, and Ben Johnson was offside. <laughs> Not playing it about at the back. Like I say, playing a lot of football, and then it's in the diagonal ball on to the left. Into the wing. Yeah, Cameron Smith's had a fair bit of the ball down the left so far. It comes back inside to Snedden again. Out to Mellers here on the right. Garwood. Oh, it looks like he can play with both feet, really. He's playing on the right, but he's equally adept at cutting in on his left foot. It's cleared by Armand. Not scared to have a throw in. Over halfway into the United half, which Mellers will take from the right back position. And we're now getting some messages saying the sound is back, so that's good. Not too sure what happened there. Um, please bear with us tonight. This is pretty much a trial run for the, the real thing on Saturday when the Pilgrims play host to AFC Telford United and Dale Story and Dave Remnant from Radio Lincolnshire will be providing the commentary on that occasion. But tonight, I've got myself, Craig Singleton, and Chris Cook as your summariser. And we're now 16 minutes in here at the North Home, and it remains Boston United nil, Notts County nil, with a place in the FA Youth Cup first round still up for grabs. Earlham, the destination. Don't suppose you ever played there, Chris, have you? I haven't. <laughs> no, I don't think it's a club that Boston United have ever played at any level. So. I've heard of Earlham in Derbyshire. Notts County onto the attack. Fressel unable to claim the ball into the area, but. Pillars look like they should survive, but they're giving it away again. Ball comes out to Snedden, and it's it's actually over the stand. Um, Jake Fressel not able to gather the first ball in. Pilgrims not able to get the clearance away, and suddenly danger there with Notts County on the edge of the box. Yeah, it's unusual from um, Jake. I must admit, he's, you know, he's usually good in the air coming out and catching crosses, and uh, he probably just looks a little bit nervous at this moment in time. It's a big stage for him tonight. You know, and the opportunity to show people what they can do, you know, when you're playing a higher club as well, they're, they're probably having a look at people as well, so, uh, you know, it's about impressing as well, so, um, you know, it's a, it's a good stage for all the lads tonight. Yep, Fressel launches that one long. It's uh, cut out by Knox. Out for a throw-in to be taken by Ben Robson in the United left-back position. He's going to look for potentially the runner Wilkinson up front. Is he going to go backwards? Yeah, he's going to go back to Horniman, look the better option. Logan Horniman pretty aimlessly plays it forward there. It's cut out by Irvine at the heart of the United, uh, the Notts County defence. He's out wide again. 
Jason Mellors. In to Jeeves in the Notts County midfielder. He gets it out to the wide left. So left back position with Wallace. He's going to clip a ball forward, which horn him on the win. United managed to get it clear. It comes out to Snedden again. Mellors in the right back position. Back inside to Snedden. Gets a ball in. It should be a first goal for Notts County, but it's not. Snedden's cross met by the run of Sam Jeeves, but he's glancing header, he couldn't quite get enough on it, and it's just wide of the far post. Yeah, once again, Jake uh, just caught in uh, no man's land, really, but I must admit, uh, the lad should have done better with the header, but uh, didn't get enough on the header and uh, glanced it uh, well wide of Jake's right hand post. Yeah, first real clear cut chance, I think. It, uh, what yeah. are we, 19th minute now? But uh, United holding their own so far. Yeah, they've done all right, really. It's just um, it's difficult for them because when they get the ball in at the back or in midfield, they've only really got uh, Tom Wilkinson and his own up front, really. So they're trying to hit one man, um, and they're probably better off trying to hit the diagonals and letting the wingers uh, get up there, really. But uh, yeah, it is difficult. I they, uh, they realise what a good side I think Notts County are, and uh, they're playing probably a bit defensively at the moment. Yeah, Ashton Taylor trying to carry the fight. To Notts County on the United right hand side, it's now with Waddington. Tries to look for his right back high step, but it's cut out. Wilkinson drop. No, it's not Wilkinson. It's Lewis Allen making his first start of the season. Retrieves the ball in midfield, but it's all the way back with Fresh on now. In the United goal, and there's suddenly pressure on the ball. But Horniman was fouled. And United win the free kick 30 yards from their own goal. Yeah, played a clever dummy there, let it go through his legs, and <laughs> the lad absolutely took him out. But uh, yeah, I mean, the referee could have played on it, wouldn't have mattered, I don't think. But uh, yeah, we'll take the free kick, and uh, Jake will take it from about 40 yards out. Yeah, Jake Fresh looking to kick this long into Notts County territory. Looking, who have United got up there? Robson, the big lad from left back, he's looking, he's got the ball. But it's dealt with by Notts County. Lewis Allen loses out to his midfield counterpart, Snedden. And it's wide left. Notts County now attacking through Cameron Smith, taking on Joe Hardstaff. He's done well, stuck to his task. Held up the Notts County man. Joe Hardstaff done very well there. As the ball trickles all the way along the touchline. And United are just denied. Ashton Taylor not quite able to get past his man, but the ball. <laughs> How it didn't go out, I'm not sure. It's right along the touchline. And Knox County. Back in possession, Heather. Across to Irvine. He's going to assess his options before trying to pick out the teammate. He goes short into midfield to Snedden. Out wide to Mellers on the Knox County right. He gets past Johnson, tries to get a ball in. It's cut out by Robson, but just launched clear, no real. Out ball from there, Tom Wilkinson well marshalled. And the nice care to goalkeeper Bill Harrison mops it up pretty comfortably and gets it back to one centre half and then to the other. And it's becoming a pretty common theme, Chris. They're quite content to play out from the back. Yeah, and, and they can do that because uh, we're already playing, obviously, with one up front and uh, letting them have the ball. And uh, it's difficult because we're, we're just getting back in four at the back and, and five in the field really and uh, everybody behind the ball but uh, as an attacking threat we're uh, not showing a great deal at the moment and uh, another corner there to Notts County. Yeah Notts County winning their fifth corner of the half which James Snedden is going to go and take in front of the Blues Club here at the North End. 22 minutes in here Boston United nil Notts County nil Thank you for joining us tonight on Boston United Live, our new streaming service with commentary tonight from myself, Greg Singleton, and Chris Cook as your guest summariser. Snedden to deliver. Fressel's looking for this one. It's over his head again. Another reasonable chance there for Notts County. It was Taylor Conway coming in with a header. A good, a good delivery, I must admit. You know, everyone just in that uh, last space, really, in between the uh, penalty spot and the six-yard area, and Jake's uh, just a little bit uh, hesitant to come, really. But um, he's got to make his mind up, really. You need to come and take everybody with him, or uh, or stay on his line. And at this moment in time, he's just, uh, like I say, in between at the moment. But uh, our lads aren't the biggest, and uh, 
Yeah. Notts County lines are throwing everything at it. Ball back with Notts County now with Will Heather, their centre half. He gives his goalkeeper Harrison a touch. And I imagine this is going to go short back to one of the centre halves. Yep, goes out to the left sided centre half and Stern Irvine brings it back across to his partner Heather. Sneddon dropping deep now. He's the man who keeps delivering these set pieces. Ball out wide to Ben Garwood. Good sliding challenge there from Horniman at the heart of United's defence. Wins Notts County of throwing deep into United territory, which Mellors will take from the right back position. He's looking for Ben Garwood. But Finn Allen stuck to his task well there, won the ball. He's looking for the run of Tom Wilkinson, but he does look pretty isolated up there, Chris, doesn't he? He does, I must admit. Um, it is, like I say, so difficult playing going up front. You've got to be a great player to play going up front. It was hard enough playing with two, two up front when I played. So, uh, you know, it, it, these days when it is one, it's, uh, it's such a hard task. And especially when you're under the cautious the Pilgrims are in, but at the moment, that everyone, his other ten mates are all quite deep and he, he is literally ploughing alone for him. That's right, yeah, and uh, it's it, it's quite easy just to knock the wrong ball, really, because uh, everything has got to be into feet when you're on your own up front, and uh, unless you can get your wide men up, up, up there and uh, and play the diagonals, you know, it, it, it's just... He's running that line on his own. It is very, very difficult. I think, uh, if anything, one of the midfield players has actually got to come out and uh, probably get uh, sit on. Is it number four, Sneddon? Is yeah, he's it? yeah, because he's a good uh, player, doesn't he? He looks as though he's the one that's uh, you know making things tick for for Notts County. And I think they've just got to stop him getting the ball, really, or at least uh, at least. Yeah, get on him and don't make it too easy for him because at the moment he's just picking his passes out out wide and uh, and causing his problems. But uh, oh, it's early days and uh, I'm sure coaches Lee and uh, Lewis are, are seeing those sort of things and uh, we'll see what happens. But Tom's down at the moment. Uh, Tom Wilkinson, the centre forwards down at the moment, having treatment. Yeah, not missing any action here at the North Home. Tom Wilkinson, chased a. A pretty much a lost cause, but he's won his team a throw in. He's taken a bit of a whack, but he's uh, he's carrying the fight from a United attacking perspective on his uh, on his own really at the moment. He's just off the pitch receiving some treatment, but United have a corner uh, first of the evening. I think we, we think they should have had one five minutes ago, but the referee decided otherwise. But United now do have a corner. Wilkinson back on the pitch after some treatment from Reese Cox, the physio. And Ben Robson will go over, whip, try and whip this in left-footed. Like we say, United not too much height tonight, deprived of the services of Owen Sheriff, their big, tall centre-half. He's not around tonight. So can they capitalise on what is their first corner? It goes in from Robson. It's a good delivery. But a couple of United men pretty much got in each other's way. I think it was uh, Lewis Allen and Brogan Horniman tried to head each other rather than the ball. And it's dropped wide and uh, Knox start one of their trademark build from the back moves with Sneddon now. He clips it forward, looking for the run of Garwood. Robson does well though, he's headed it out all the way back from taking that corner on the far side. It's run diagonally all the way across to track his man, done it well. And Knox County have a throw in now, it's through to Garwood again. Robson does well again as the ball squirts across the area. United standing firm and Wilkinson is looking for those scraps to feed off. Can United find him an opportunity? Because as we saw in the last round, and as we saw at times last season, he is a predator. And he knows where the net is if he's presented with a chance or two. So, but not on the attack. All a bit scruffy at the moment. Robson clears his lines. It's forward now to Conway, who's dropping deep into midfield to pick that ball up. United clear the lines through Dilly. And it's a throw in to Notts County just inside their own half. 27 minutes played here at the North Home. It's Boston United nil, Notts County nil in the third qualifying round of the FA Cup. And the big news tonight, Chris, as the Pilgrims suffered the fate of having to withdraw from the FA Cup, Notts County have had to do it tonight. It's not good times. No, no. Um, 
somebody texted me earlier on, I must admit, to say that uh, they pulled out the uh, FA Cup and uh, Kings then are through to the next round with a bye. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be well pleased with that, won't they? Uh, you know, it's a good, uh, great result for them, really, because that would have been a difficult, difficult game for them. Yeah, I think teams, the beneficiaries, uh, they're not going to go jumping for joy, are they? But when I had to make the phone call to Hemel Hempstead, they were very gracious, but you can imagine deep down they're thinking, brilliant. No long midweek trip, a bit of prize money, and a one win from the first round. Who can blame them? How does it work with the prize money? Do they, uh, do they, do, yeah, do you get given the? Uh, it looks like uh, the, we'll pick up the, the losers' money. So there's obviously in the qualifying competition from the last couple of years, you get a certain amount if you win the game, and, and sort of a, a quarter of that if you if you lose. So I think clubs are pretty much that's the agreement that the FA have. Uh, put out so far. Not on the attack ball, cut out by Mellors. But the Pilgrims win it back. Johnson could be on the verge of winning a free kick. He, uh, blimey, he's picked the ball back to Jake Fressel. He did want to head it wide. It was nearly the bizarrest own goal. Ben Johnson about 40 yards, 50 yards from his own goal. He turned and pinged it at Jake Fressel, who didn't know what was happening. I didn't think he had to go that far back, did he really? He could have just rolled it to the full back or even rolled it to the centre half and I think they'd have dealt with it quite easily. I was expecting to. him to get foul, but he, he, he did well. He held, he held on to it, but then seemed to lose his bearings. And, well, it's put the Pilgrims under a little bit of pressure because Notts County have their sixth corner of the half now, which that man Snedden will take from the near side this time, the side of the main stand here at the North Home. And most of the others have been from the far side, but Fresham comes out, gets one hand, two hands, Second attempt, he's just about got it clear, and Johnson attempting to cl uh, complete the clearance, but it's a bit scruffy from the Pilgrims, not managed to clear the lines, but they do now with uh, Captain Finley Armand. He's managed to get it upfield. Tom Wilkinson can't even get near that one. He's uh, well and truly outnumbered, unfortunately. And County. I like young Finn, I'm sudden I think he's. Uh, He's one for the future, and uh, oh, he's playing his games at, uh, is it, is it Pinchbeck, I think, at the moment? Yeah, he's, uh, I think he played a little bit for Boston Town last year, and now he's at Pinchbeck. Um, Bailey Dilly, obviously, the one who plays in, in that league for Boston Town, so the, there are players in this setup that are involved in senior football, but United have got Brogan Horniman, the centre-half down now. He came off in the first qualifying round very late on at West Bridgeford with a shoulder injury, which actually kept him out until tonight, but uh, other unavailability has plunged him back straight back in tonight. But he looks like he's got a, actually a knock to his ankle and he's getting some treatment from Rhys Cox, the United physio. So half an hour in, Chris, Notts County on top, but the Pilgrims standing firm. Yeah, I think I think the lads have done well defensively, really, to uh, to uh, not concede really at the moment. Uh, Jake looks a little shaky in goal, I must admit. He needs a uh, he needs to come out and catch one, give himself a little bit of confidence, really. You know, not worry about punching and uh, and flapping away. Just get uh, get hold of the ball, Jake, and uh, give your lads a little bit of a respite, really. But um, but they've done all right, and uh, yeah, not getting do look you know, by far the better side, and uh, you know, method of play, it looks good. The field are coming back off the uh, off the defenders getting the ball, spraying it out wide, and uh, they do look dangerous. But the uh, lads have coped with it so far, and uh, that's good to see. Would you take penalties now? <laughs> Chance your arm? <laughs> it's a bit early to say that, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think not in just this competition, but the FA Cup this year. I think there are going to be some potentially a couple of upsets on on that route that teams do go somewhere. And if you want to say part of the bus. And Say so, right, we'll, if we can get through, we'll chance our arm on penalties. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. in a way, it's uh, you know, it's it's good, isn't it? You know, it saves all the, the hassle of going to replays and everything, really, and and they say extra time as well. So it, it's good. Well, we're not sure any fans. Not sure how many fans we've got here at the North End tonight. We've also got a dog with us in the main stand. So mm. we're about two two hundred um, fans and a dog. I'm glad you can tell us I'm not a dog lover, but. Uh, Tyrese Palmer there, the Knox County skipper playing as their number nine. Not really a glaring chance. He uh, got it on his left foot and he sort of bent it over high and wide. Jake Fressel not troubled. Play back underway following that injury to Horniman. Doesn't look too comfortable, but he's playing on at the moment. And the United will need him to, really, because they're, they're a little bit thin on the ground tonight. But um, 
He's a brave lad, he's a, he's a physical lad, isn't he? And uh, yeah, I'm sure he, he'll get through it. He looks. Uh, he's not the sort of will come off with just a. Uh, no, his, shot, his shoulder was nearly hanging off at West Bridgeford, so he was. Uh, right. he, uh, he did have good cause for concern there, but Notts County almost threw a ball, dissecting the two United centre halves, but Palmer and Smith. The left winger for County, not able to quite get onto it, and Jake Fressel mops it up. He's going to kick from his hands. Not really aiming for anyone in particular. He's just hitting areas, trying to find the run of Tom Wilkinson eventually. Ben Robson, United left back, picks it up, but he's given away a free kick for a foul on Ben Garwood, the Knox County right winger. Johnson's just holding proceedings up, give by United a little bit of time, but Knox County coming forward. That's gone out. Mellers overran. He's run forward, the ball's gone out. No, Robson will have his throwing now from the United left. Both lads on the left hand side, left back and uh, left wing, they look comfortable on the ball, don't they? Yeah, they're, they're both tall lads and uh, they do look as they've got a decent touch. Yeah, they're probably United's two biggest lads, really, the left back and the, the left winger, Robson and Johnson. And Ben Johnson was the scorer of two goals last week in the Pilgrims Open their Youth Alliance victory at FC Halifax Town. It's uh, often a challenge for the Pilgrims in that league because a lot of teams stack their lineups with third-year players, whereas the Pilgrims are mainly only first and second years. But a really promising start last week. Obviously the Pilgrims have already had those two FA Youth Cup wins. But then to open it up with a decisive away win in the league as well, that's got to do them the world of good. Yeah, definitely. Good result, like you say. Yeah, considering like you say they are the first and second years at the most, uh, yeah, I'm sure that they'll, they'll have a good season, an enjoyable one anyway. Yeah, we've just got to hope that they don't hit too many obstacles along the way because we also saw their season, like everybody else, is curtailed last March. Hopefully that's not going to happen again. Johnson wins his side throwing right in front of us here at the main stand at the North End. Boston United nil, Notts County nil, into the 35th minute here at the North End. Commentary from myself, Craig Singleton and Chris Cook as our summariser this evening. Hopefully you're joining us nice and lively on Boston United Live, the first outing for our new streaming system, which we hope will prove to be a good substitute for supporters while fans aren't sadly allowed into stadiums. They obviously are tonight, there's a reasonable number here at the North Home, but in the short term, at least, our home games will be on this service. And it's AFC Telford United here on Saturday, with commentary from Dale Story and Dave Remnant on BBC Radio Lincolnshire. And then next Tuesday night we're back here for the visit of Guiseley, the rearranged game from the Covid postponement, and commentary then from myself and Mark Home. So plenty of football coming up for the Pilgrims, as Notts County attack down their right hand side with Jeeves, it's back to Garwood, further back now to Snedden who's going to try and whip a ball in, hard stuff stands strong, Horniman heads dangerously towards his own goal but Fressel just about gathers and prevents a corner, picks the ball up at the second attempt, just tries to calm United down a little bit there, they're only nine minutes away from a clean sheet at half time, and I presume that's now the objective, Chris, get through to half-time and, and reassess. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm not sure that that's what coaches will be thinking themselves, really, and the fact that you know, they've done OK, really, and uh, you know, hopefully come out second half and just play with probably a little bit more of an attacking threat. But, um, it, it, like I say, it is difficult when you only play one up front and the, the two wide lads have got to get up there and really, really help the, the forward on his own. But uh, not even to be able to get out from the back, it has been difficult. But then if you sacrifice one of your midfielders, are not scared to have even, even more of the ball? Yeah, possibly, possibly. Um, it just, like I say, it really, really just depends on on how you see the game down there, really. I mean, we see it, like you say, a lot more different up here than what they, they do down on the pitch and uh, the pitch level. Um, You're always an advocate of somebody being up in the stand, though, aren't you? Get a better, better view. Yeah, I can never understand it. Um, you know, even from myself, the first team scored with you know got a lot of coaching on the bench i'd love to see one from saturday in the stand just seeing it from a different angle but uh, it never happened so uh, you know they've got their own way of doing it and they were successful doing it the way they did last season so uh, you know there's no criticism at all it's just uh, from my point of view i think it's just an extra pair of eyes in the stand is a, is a good option 
Boston with a free kick just inside their own half, which hard staff will deliver from the right back position. It's well, I was going to say it's not a brilliant delivery, but Johnson and Robson both nearly got onto it, but it evaded everybody and went out for a county throw in, which Mellors has taken quickly to Heather. United don't really seem to be getting that close to men to try and force the error, do they? They're not close enough to try and snatch the ball and then be in on goal. But um, not back on the attack. Conway out wide to Wallace. Now it's the rem marauding left back from Notts County, cut out by Bailey Dilly. And Notts County have a throw in. Pretty much level with the what the six yard line potentially, probably a little bit further out. But well advanced into United territory and it goes looking for the run of Conway. It's cut out by Hardstaff and then cleared by Armand. But again, tail of the half. There's nobody there unfortunately. Wilkinson's running himself into the ground to try and make things happen. But Knox have another throw in now. Just inside the United half. Played across to Snedden. The man that Knox are looking to to spread the play. He does, but it's over the head of his right back Mellers. Mellers gets the ball back wide to Garwood. Now on the county right. Cleared, intercepted by Robson, the United left back. And it's another Knox County throw in. Got six minutes to half time. United goal kick. 39 minutes played. It's Boston United nil, Notts County nil. Here at the North Home in this FA Youth Cup third qualifying round encounter. A trip to Earlham in the Manchester area. And whatever that entails now with restrictions and such like, who knows? It might not be United's problem, but let's hope it is. Yeah, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you want to be playing as many games as you can. Win it, you know, and, uh, worst, worst case scenario, like you say, is that uh, it gets called off. But um, got a hard task on the runs to, to win this game tonight. But um, you never know. You never know. Was the FA Youth Cup round when you were a youngster? No, no. Uh, not at my level that I played at. Anyway, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you managed a United Academy team in competition in the what was it late nine no early 2000s uh, yeah 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 late 90s and early 2000s uh, I think we had like um, five, about five years really successful um, locally and uh, and in the uh, the RAF league it was played on a Wednesday so that was against tough hard men and uh, it made our lads grow up quite a lot really but uh, a yeah, really, really enjoyable five years of uh, my life. I must admit, I took great pride in, the, in coaching the full time and uh, really, really enjoyed it. My records only really start when the club re entered the competition in 2004 when they were a football league side, third year as a football league side. And you look back, that first season they beat Northampton Town and Huddersfield Town before going out to Barnsley at Oakwell. So, certainly played on some good stadiums in this competition. And I think if we look back to 2011-12, the Pilgrims actually won six games en route to the third round. Um, beating Burton Albin at the Pirelli and then Bradford City at York Street before losing 7-0 to a fantastic Burnley side. I think reached the semi-finals that year, but Notts County should be ahead. They're not. Ball in from the left-hand side from the left winger Cameron Smith. It was met by a header by Taylor Conway, I think. It's fairly central, only six yards out. Well, County should be leading, Chris. They should be. Yeah, good play, bike save by the winger. Good turn and a great cross in. And uh, the centre foot was really free in the in, well, probably six yards out and uh, hasn't got above the ball at all really and uh, headed it well over the bar. So uh, I owe an apology to Taylor Conway because that was actually Sam Jeeves, the number eight. So still should have scored. But the Pilgrims grateful that he did. Ball back. In the Notch County attacking half, here's Conway this time. Spreads it wide to Smith. He gets the ball. He's going to have a shot. That's another match ball. Do they not know how much they cost? It's two gone. Yeah, poor efforts on the left from the Notch County lads. Um, yeah, they've not flew off the bar tonight, aren't they, really? And uh, I don't think um, Jack's actually had a save to make, really. And, uh, the thing he, he's done us, you know, come for crosses really because not had the same to make at all. No, all Notts County's efforts have really been off target. Two or three have been relatively close, but 
Pressure not called into serious action just yet. You, uh, like we said earlier, sense he's going to have to make a save or two tonight if United want to capitalise and get through. But here they come again. Knox County, Stern Irvine, centre half, spreads it wide. Cameron Smith infield. He's cut out. United doing that pretty well. They're cutting a lot of the supply out in the middle of the pitch, but then they give it away again too easily. Harmlessly through to Jake Fressel now in the United goal. Yeah, good play from Jack Waddington, unfortunately did give, give, give the ball away at the end of it, but uh, he had done well to win the ball back and uh, and then tried to play it through the lad's legs, but uh, that didn't work out, but it uh, ended harmlessly into Jake's arms. 43 minutes on the dock played here at the North End as Fressel launches that into the Gainsborough night sky, wins United a throw in. Level with the Knox County 18 yard box. Struggling to think of too many occasions, Chris, that the Pilgrims have been in that 18 yard box, unfortunately. Yeah, I was just thinking that uh, defenders will be glad of a rest, weren't they, really? <laughs> and, uh, you know, they've actually performed well under pressure, but uh, the ball's not been up there uh, as much as what it should be. No, Finn Armand there trying just to force it, really, looking for the run of either Wilkinson or Robson, the left back, but it was far too strong. And Knox County as they've done so often tonight, coming forward with their two centre halves. It comes into midfield with Snedden. Now out to the right to Mellers. He pings it back out to the left. He picks out his centre half, Irvine. Looks like it's going to go out either to Wallace or Smith. No, he's coming back in field now, back across to Heather, his defensive partner. Ball goes fairly straight. Dilly's headed it straight up in the air. He's headed it straight up in the air again. But the Pilgrim survived. Johnson. Completes the clearance and <laughs> after nearly lobbing his own keeper, he's kicked the ball over his own goalkeeper, the opposing goalkeeper. But Harrison's responded pretty well, and it looks like we may have a flat football. What do not scared you expect if they keep kicking him out of the ground? <laughs> um, but referee, is he happy with this one? Yep, seems to be. Drops the ball just for Bill Harrison, the Notts County goalkeeper, to start again. Ball goes forward to Heather. To Mellors on the Notts right, into Snedden. Can't get away from Wilkinson. Yes, he can. Wilkinson shrugged off at the second attempt. Out wide now. Notts County's left back, Wallace, drives it forward to his colleague on the left, Cameron Smith. Can he get across into the United box? He's passed one. It's not really going anywhere just yet. Brings it across to Mellors, but it's intercepted again by Ben Johnson. Who is he able to pick out the run of Ashton Taylor? The Pilgrims, if they can play this right, ball into the middle now for Wilkinson. He's got a sight of goal. Really, the first chance for tonight, and it's just wide. A fantastic covering block from Stern Irvine. But Ashton Taylor doing really well down the United right, picked his pass perfectly, and Wilkinson almost gave United the lead against the runner play. Yeah, unfortunately the ball was just played a little bit behind uh, Tom and uh, he just had to hold on to the ball a little bit, but uh, if it had just been played probably another yard in front of him, he could probably have a crack with his left foot here earlier on, but uh, held the ball up and then had a crack, but uh, got deflected, so, uh, you yeah, know, good effort by the lads. You've sensed the programmes are going to need to take advantage of those opportunities tonight, though, if they're going to progress, because that is literally their first effort on goal in the in first half stoppage time as the corner comes in from Taylor it's deep and that is half time here at the North End um, a half pretty much dominated territorially by Knox County but it's goalless and the Pilgrims alive and kicking still in the Youth Cup this year Chris and that was presumably the objective before the game yeah definitely I mean they're going at half time thinking that uh, they've done well to get to half time without conceding really but uh, They've not actually looked as though they're going to concede, and um, yeah, Notts County have been have been good from the back and through midfield, but uh, not really sound. We've certainly had some nice feedback from the first half. It's Craig Singleton here on commentary, joined by Chris Cook, the club's record goal scorer. But he's never scored in the FA Youth Cup, Chris. But you never played in it, so <laughs> I suppose uh, you can't score if you don't play. I was actually playing for the first team, mate, at that age. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> so, almost ready for the off again here in Gainsborough. Pilgrims level at 0-0. And it looks like Notts County have made a change with 
number 15, Solomon Miles, joining the action. Just trying to uh, pick up who, who he's replaced, judging by where he is on the field. It looks like Cameron Smith, number 11, the left winger. For not scant, he seems to have disappeared as United kick off. Ball aimlessly goes forward, which is retrieved by Notts County keeper Bill Harrison. And, as was a familiar trend in the first half, Notts building from the back with Heather, Irvine, their two centre-halves, both look comfortable on the ball. Played forward, out to the right to Garwood. It's cut out, not once, but twice by Armand. And United have a free kick and a chance to potentially get one or two bodies forward and try and get themselves up the, up the pitch, Chris. Yeah, pity really, the referee uh, blew for the free kick because uh, I think the ball was on to actually knock it down this right hand side because uh, Ashton was breaking and uh, I think it was like 2-1-2 uh, two two at the back for Notts County, so uh, pity really the referee blew, blew up for the free kick, but there you go. To be taken long by Jake Fressel, who's the Pilgrims goalkeeper, so just to run through the Pilgrims team, Jake Fressel is in goal. Number two, Joe Hardstaff. Three, Ben Robson. Four, Lewis Allen. Five, Brogan Horniman. Six, Bailey Dilly. Seven, Ashton Taylor, who's chasing a long ball forward. I don't think he's going to get there. No, it's a throw into Notts County. Number eight for the Pilgrims is Finley Armand, the captain. Number nine, Tom Wilkinson, who bagged a hat-trick in the last round in the 3-0 win at Grantham Town. Number 10, Jack Waddington. And number 11, Ben Johnson. United's four we, subs this we, evening we, are Jack we, Bastow, we, Jake we, Henderson, we, Tom Ridley, and Taylor Jane. Notts County lineup with Bill Harrison in goal. Back four of Morgan Mellers, Will Heather, Stern Irvine, and Miles Wallace. The two central midfield players are James Snedden and Sam Jeeves. With Ben Garwood on the right, Taylor Conway centrally, and now Solomon. Miles on the right, on the left side, replacing Cameron Smith at half time. And then the spearhead of the Knox County attack is Tyrese Palmer, their captain, who's been in good goal scoring form so far this season. Knox County's other subs are Turner, Fearing, and Girage. So both teams only operating with four out of the possible seven subs tonight, three of which can be used on both sides as Knox County come forward. It's cleared by Joe Hardstaff in the United right-back position. That's another football gun, Chris. <laughs> they don't understand, do they, these lads? <laughs> well, they do. They're defending properly. If it's there, they're clearing the lines. But uh, not good for our football, Bill, when it's uh, so many lost on the same night. But United win the ball back. But then they surrender possession cheaply, as they've done too often tonight, in all honesty. Ball into the left-back position for Notts County with Wallace. Goes back across to his right side, his centre half in Heather. It's played diagonally, looking for the run of that substitute, Solomon Miles. But Joe Hardstaff done well again. He's stood up well to the challenge tonight. But he's just let the ball run out there, really, for a, a Knox County throw. And it's played back to the left back, Wallace. Forward now to Conway. Waddington tries to hold him up. Allen, likewise, but it's spread out wide to Mellers. Or Garwood, rather. Garwood and Mellor seem to have just swapped positions temporarily. Garwood tries to pick out the run of Mellor's, but Robson cuts it out. And it's retrieved by Johnson on the United left. He plays it forward to Armand. He's just muscled out by Snedden. Arguably the game's best player so far, Chris. He looks a good, tidy midfield player, James Snedden. Good set-piece delivery. Yeah, very much so. He, uh, I might say, he wants the ball. He's, he's the, one of the midfield players that just wants the ball, drops off his, uh, his opponent and gets it from the, the centre-halves and the full-backs and, uh, and sprays balls out wide and uh, into people's feet up front. So, he, it, you know, he does look decent. I think, uh, you know, somebody's got to come out of midfield, really, and, uh, and pressure him a little bit more, really. Ball back with Jake Fressel in the United goal. Resplendent in all purple tonight as Ross Fitzsimmons is for the first team, but his long kick is found by Waddington, and Waddington's in, and Waddington fires wide. And again, we say Notts County have had all the play, but Boston have now had the two best chances, and there should be a goal up there. 
Yeah, I mean, both uh, both times we've actually got through has been uh, through direct play, really. I mean, the, the one on just before half time was a, a good ball down the right hand channel and uh, and then uh, put into the, the, the box for Tom Wilkinson to uh, unfortunately have his shot deflected for a corner. But that's a good uh, a good break again, really, and a good opportunity for uh, Waddington, but uh, couldn't make the best of it. But uh, no, promising, promising. Notts County tried to launch another attack there, but the ball is safely through to Fressel once again, and he's just taking his time, sizing up his options as United try and get themselves forward and make a real impression on this Notts County backline that they couldn't really do in the first half, but through Wilkinson right at the death, and then Waddington there on 50 minutes, they've two glorious chances really that they've not been able to take advantage of. But Notts County now with a free kick inside their own half which is played inside to Heather back out to Snedden the set piece man across to Irvine now can Knox County find a way through the mass ranks of amber shirts it's Snedden again out wide to Garwood he plays a neat one two can he get a cross in for Knox County he can the header goes up from Palmer it's not on target and hard stuff just tries to mop up there with Miles doing his best to keep it alive which he does and Knotts have their first corner of the second half and Brogan Horniman down again for the Pilgrims and it doesn't yeah. look like he's going to last too much longer unfortunately and I think signals are that uh, he's tried it for the first five minutes of the second half and uh, it's no good I don't think and uh, they're going to send the physio one, but I don't think that uh, I don't think he'll be coming. Uh. Pilgrims do have a handful of players missing tonight, so not too much strength in depth on the bench. Three under 16s players there for the first time. One of whom is a centre half, I believe, Taylor Jane. So it looks like he's going to get thrown thrown into the big time. Here, here's your chance. Great opportunity, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, so this is Taylor Jane coming on, one of the club's under-16 players. Only called into the squad today. What a great opportunity, what a stage. Tonight's pay in attendance confirmed as 125 here at the North End. So good support from both sides. And that's what a youth system's all about, Chris. You want to give as many players an opportunity. And there's a young lad coming on here. Could make a name for himself tonight. Yep, yep. It's, uh, like I say, a great opportunity for him and uh, just hope he goes out and enjoys it and uh, yeah, has a good experience. His first job will be to defend the Notts County corner. They've had numerous corners already tonight. They've not taken advantage of one just yet and the Pilgrims will be hopeful that that carries on. He's straight into the action, Jane. He's marking Conway in front of Jake Fressel. The ball goes in. It's deflected over the crossbar somehow for yet another Notts County corner and United just need to keep their attention here Chris because Notts County could uh, could get on top if they're not careful yeah once again good delivery from the from the left hand side and uh, just into that area really where it is difficult for the keeper to, to come and collect stuff uh, you know, in between the uh, six yard box and the on the penalty spot and uh, yeah, a big threat Snedden delivers once again but it's headed partially clear Irvine the Knox County centre half he slips allows Ben Johnson to get away down the United left Robson overlapping but Irvine recovers well and not only does he recover well he wins his team a throw in when they look to be in a little spot of bother Knox County take the throw in quickly it comes into Snedden in the county midfield out to Irvine who was the stopper there, he really got himself in the way and rescued his team on the counter-attack. Notts County going forward, Snedden clips the ball forward, Fressel comes out and takes it pretty cleanly. What, the referee's blown, was he? I think it blown for the, um, the centre-forward, pulling on the, uh, the centre-half shirt, but... Uh, yeah, I think it, it was no, certainly not offside, the, no. the linesman's flag wasn't up. And, but you spoke for the first half about Fressel needing to come and, and catch one cleanly. He's done that, so I'm just going to pose him up and then he's kicked one straight out of play. So, <laughs> the life of a young goalkeeper, eh? 
Yeah, I mean, like you say, that would have given him a lot of confidence, really. But then uh, and the full pack weren't quite switched on to uh, the same uh, wavelength as the keeper was there. And uh, unfortunately, Jake uh, kicked it straight out. But uh, no, I mean, it's a. Uh, it, it, it is an intriguing game at the moment, isn't it? Like you say, anything could happen. It is. You've, you sense the knots of the light clear, but the more desperate they get for this first goal, is that, is that a foul throw? No. The referee allows play to go on. The longer it takes them to find this first goal, the more they're going to uh, potentially leave gaps. Taylor Jane. The 16-year-old uh, debutant at centre-half took a bit of a swing at that. He missed it, but no immediate danger with not a Knox County man I close that, by. I thought that was deliberate back flick to the keeper, mate. <laughs> Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He's probably as nervous as hell coming on yeah. in an occasion like this. But uh, Knox County going forward now with Garwood down the right-hand side. It's whipped in. Nice, comfortable gather for Fressel. That'll do him the world of good. Settle him down. Size up your options, gives it short, Knox County style. It's a hard staff in the right back position. He clips it forward for looking for the run of Waddington, but it's cut out. Here comes Armin with a crunching tackle, wins his team a throw in, which is Taylor going to take quickly? He is. It comes back to Armin. He gives it back to Taylor, but not on the same wavelength. Knox County just surviving. It just looks like if Pilgrims do get that opportunity, they're just a little bit frenzied trying to make the most of it not giving themselves that second or two to compose themselves yeah I mean I'm not 100% sure but I think that's the first time that uh, Jake has actually thrown the ball out to uh, one of his fullbacks and well, uh, we say it when we not scanning have been playing it around yeah. for and that it was I think that's the first time it's come out short so and hard stuff's not a good good ball down the channel and uh, put them under pressure a little bit we've got the second ball and uh, and cause them a few problems and uh, Hopefully that's the, they'll do more of that rather than just uh, Jake kicking it long to, uh, for Tom to chase on his own. Waddington winning. United a throw right in front of us here in the main stand at the North Home. We are now 57 minutes into the contest here, the FA Youth Cup third qualifying round tie between the Pilgrims and Notts County. It remains goalless. Notts County certainly bossed the game with possession, incisive moves at times, but the Pilgrims have had the two best chances, one just before half-time, one just after, not able to take them. And Notts County come forward again with Conway. He jinks his way through, he's going at goal, he's going to have a shot from distance. Very good play, but then very adventurous and potentially a pass was a better option for one of his teammates. Yeah, good strike, I must admit. Uh, like I say, worked hard on the halfway line, got away from two or three tackles, really, and uh, hit one from about 35 yards out, and, uh, and he just wide, so, uh, yeah, good effort from him, really, and a good strike. Jake Fressel to... Just watching that replay back, yeah, Conway. Reasonable way wide, but a good strike from distance. Jake Fressel watched it all the way. Kicks it long into the Notts County half. Wilkinson goes off, he's not winning that against two big centre-halves, but United forced back. Hardstaff wins it now. Back to Taylor. Forward to Hardstaff down the United right. Can he whip a ball into the box? He can, it's a great ball. Oh, and Ashton Taylor's missed his kick. And the Pilgrims, another reasonable chance. Good play from Joe Hardstaff. Very good, yeah, I mean, must have a good ball out wide to him and uh, got him behind the fullback and put a good cross in but uh, unfortunately Ashton uh, just had a swing at it kind of thing and uh, yeah it was unlucky really but uh, he laid it off on the halfway line so he did well to actually get in on the uh, on the six yard line didn't he? Very good just watching the replay it was crying out for a finish he didn't quite get it and Knox County now have a free kick on halfway just over halfway in fact which Snedden is going to dink forward the Notts County playmaker, he launches it long, looking for Irvine, can't get his head on it, it's a goal kick to the Pilgrims as we approach the hour mark here at the North Home. Myself, Craig Singleton and Chris Cook providing your commentary here tonight on Boston United Live. Back here on Saturday for the first team's first home fixture, first home league fixture of the season, belatedly against AFC Telford United, and then Tuesday night here against Geisley, so two fixtures in quick succession for the Pilgrims. 
And Chris still really be looking to build on those opening two wins, AFC Mansfield and Leamington, which now seem a lifetime ago. They do, but uh, yeah, two good results, mate, weren't they? And uh, yeah, the performance at Leamington was uh, not a surprise, I must admit, because it was a, uh, we, we were expecting it of them. They, you know, they look a decent side, really, and uh, you know, to come away from Leamington before 4 0 win was a tremendous uh, result for them. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got some good lads this year, and uh, I like think that uh, Craig has uh, done his own work and. Uh, you know, he'll be a, they'll be a force to rec be reckoned with, I think, this season. You like big centre forwards, and we've got two of them now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was chuffed as anything to see uh, the signing of uh, Jordan Burrow. Uh, we've rated him for, for many a year now. I mean, when he come on loan from it, which I think uh, probably 10 years ago, he was a uh, he was a good lad then at uh, at the age of 18 or 19, and uh, I really rated him then. Um, Follow followed his career, and uh, yeah, really really pleased that he signed for us. Yeah, that's Saturday and Tuesday. In the meantime, the Pilgrims still deadlocked here with Notts County as the Magpies make their second change. And Ashaya Fearon, the number 16, comes on for County, replacing Miles Wallace at left back. So I don't think there was a. Not aware that there was an injury there, but Fearon is on. Not second change. Pilgrims have just been forced into one so far through injury and their uh, under 16 centre half Taylor Jane is on for his youth team debut and perhaps as bigger occasion as he, as he could have picked tonight in this uh, spectator allowed environment at the North Home. County on the attack with their substitute Solomon Miles it's deflected and it's almost an own goal. Jake ball squirmed through Freshall's grass Taylor Jane there to hack it away and the Pilgrim survived Chris it was a, a good ball from the substitute there Miles. Yeah, he looks dangerous, doesn't he? The, uh, the young lad at, uh, on the left hand side and uh, jinked it out and uh, yeah, caused problems. Good cross as well. Unfortunately, Jake wasn't able to, to take it cleanly and uh, went through his grasp and uh, <laughs> went through his grasp and, uh, and then cleared, uh, cleared off the line, really. But uh, now it's. Uh, it's, it's dangerous for Boston, you know, to give them possession away, but uh, it, it happens. They're a decent, you know, they're a good, good side, and uh, you know, but Boston have done well so far. Ashton Taylor just getting a talking to from referee Istvan Mod for stopping a not a clear cut Notts County getaway, but centre half Stern Irvine had got some grass in front of him to run into and just pulled back by Taylor. He's not been booked. Snedden delivers the Notts County free kick. It's dangerous. Fressel rooted to his line can United survive the can Hardstaff gets it clear it's all the way up to Wilkinson can he hold it no he can't but he's won it back he's given it he's been given away again Irvine's on the floor but the advantage goes on is that a penalty to Notts County no Ben Robson challenged I think it was Sam Jeeves legally deemed the referee here they come again Solomon Miles down the left hand side he's done really well Cut out by Armand, cleared by hard stuff. And United live to fight another day, Chris. Yeah, I mean, I must admit, I, I thought Rab was offside when uh, when they actually appeared for the penalty, but uh, you know, nothing was given and, uh, and Boston got away with it. United just on the front foot there, but given possession away. But Knox County kicked it straight into touch, so United chance to regroup on their left hand side with. Ben Robson, the left back, he's going to take the throw in, looking for options in front of him, which there aren't too many. It's gone to Wilkinson, who's fallen over. No, not Wilkinson, sorry. On to Allen. But United do win the free kick eventually, just inside their own half. Chance to load one or two forward, Chris. Yeah, the two lines down the left hand side, I think, have done well. Uh, you know, I like the full back, I must admit, I think he's done really, really well. Um, you know, get the ball into uh, Ben Johnson's feet on the left wing, and uh, I'm sure he'll, he'll cause problems and get some crosses into the box. But uh, they've not had enough possession for my liking. No, it's been difficult against clearly a very good Notts County side this evening. But the Pilgrims past the hour mark now, still level at nil nil as Robson delivers this free That's kick. Good. It's not high enough, not strong enough, and headed clear by Heather. United win it back. Waddington not able to do anything with it it's cleared Taylor Jane there doing well holds up Tyrese Palmer Notts County win a throw in 
on their right hand side. Garwood to take it infield to Snedden, looking for the switch now across to substitute Fearon, who lets the ball squirm through his grasp and it's out for a throw in now in front of the away dugout with Joe Hardstaff in the United right back position. He's just weighing up what options he's got. Waddington moving forward, Taylor moving infield, it goes to Waddington. He's half won it, it's clattered into the head of Lewis Allen and Notts County have a throw in right in front of the United dugout this time, it goes back to goalkeeper Harrison. He spreads it wide to one of his centre-halves, Heather, which has been a recurring theme from this game. He's coming forward pretty much unchallenged, chips it forward, it's headed up by Robson, who gets a second opportunity to clear it, all the way up to Wilkinson, who's very getting very little service tonight. Did have that one chance right on half-time where he was denied by a fantastic block from Irvine, the centre-half. One there by Alan Johnson on the ball for United. Trying to look for the run of Taylor down the right, but he can't find him. Johnson wins it back again. And like Chris says, certainly one of United's better performers tonight. Ball goes forward for Knotts. It's Palmer. And a great challenge there, Chris, from the 16-year-old Taylor Jane. Yeah. Um, yeah I mean, the lad up front, I must admit, he's put himself about a bit tonight and uh, he's planted himself on, on Taylor, uh, but uh, he's coped very well with him so far. Lewis Allen down with what looks like an injury now for the Pilgrims. This may be a more cramp because he's not played this season yet for the Pilgrims. He's one of the two players to come into the 11 tonight, so his time may be up pretty soon. Jack Basto warming up with Tom Ridley and Jake Henderson, who are United's other subs tonight. Both teams can use three from the four that they've named. So two more opportunities for Lee Mitchell to freshen things up for the Pilgrims if needed. And Jack's a forward, isn't he? He is, yeah. So whether he'll be brought on and just to give him a little bit more support to Tom Wilkinson, potentially. He'll probably be happy, actually, Lee Mitchell at the moment with the, with the way things are going. But, uh, you know, like I say, if, you, uh, if you're probably looking to win the game, maybe in the last 10, 15 minutes, he, he'll look to probably bring Jack on and play him up front alongside Tom. Yeah, he's another player who's not yet featured this season for one reason or another, but these are certainly testing times with the world that we're living in and players not necessarily being available all the time. It's easy to forget that they've all got college and school commitments as well, so it's a it's a big ask at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And it's um you know, it's uh, it's like you say, strange, strange times and uh, players are available now and then they're not and it, it's really really difficult even from the premiership down to, to youth team level isn't it it certainly is Knox County Lewis Allen seems to be back on his feet I think he'll have to go off until the play recommences but Knox County ready to get things restarted it's a throw in on their right hand side with Ben Garwood it's like he's going to throw in field and receives the ball back Cuts inside on his left foot, he's jinking in field, but that is a good challenge from Jack Waddington. Knox County were after a penalty. Chris? Yeah, yeah, it was a dive, I think, wasn't it? Um, no. <laughs> referee was signalling straight away, get up, get yeah, up, so. It was, it was a blatant dive. Referee yeah. right on the spot. We'll no doubt just see it on our stream in a moment. Another shout there, but that was a, certainly a good tackle that time. We're just going to watch it back here, Chris, if you. Yeah, I don't think there was much contact at all. He actually ran into the lab and then dived, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, Garwood. On the end of, well, should we say a challenge from Jack Waddington? It wasn't really even a challenge. It was just a coming together, but United win the ball back. And it's uh, Robson there, left back, pushing all the way forward. But good defending from Ben Garwood. And Robson fouled his man. Knox County ever. Free kick deep inside, well, midway inside their own half. Which is taken quickly. Irvine bringing the ball forward from the left-sided centre-half position out to the left wing now with Smith, who actually was the player I'd got being substituted at half-time, so I don't know where he's been. He must have moved into a more central position. But uh, there he is, Cameron Smith. Taylor Conway on the ball now. He's 
being held up by Waddington. Here comes the other substitute, Fearon. The ball comes in now from Smith. Good challenge from Finn Armand, which he needed to make timely because that could have quite easily have been a penalty if he'd mistimed that. But Knox County ping the ball forward again. It goes out for a Boston United goal kick. And on the 70-minute mark here on Boston United Live with myself, Craig Singleton, and your summariser, Chris Cook, it remains Boston United nil, Notts County nil in the third qualifying round of this season's FA Youth Cup. A first-round proper place, a trip to Earlham in the Manchester area awaits tonight's winners in a fortnight's time. So progression into the competition proper. And it's strange that these two sides should be paired tonight because... Both first teams, unfortunately, now have suffered the same fate of having to withdraw from the senior FA Cup due to COVID issues. Unfortunately, I don't think they'll be the last, Chris. No, no, it's, uh, yeah, it's a, a sad case of uh, state of case at the moment. In United <laughs> running forward through Wilkinson. He looked like he could have been offside, but it wasn't given. It's into the middle. He is now offside but I think he got the benefit of the doubt he got away down the United left hand side spun inside but then Taylor not able to take advantage in the middle and when the ball came back to Wilkinson he was offside yeah did well actually uh, got to the byline and pulled it back and uh, I think it just deflected off Taylor now watching forward watching the replay looks like a good decision from uh, from Ben Lilly on the line I don't think he was offside obviously he was when the the second ball, the second opportunity presented itself, but would it be fair to say United are, are coming into this a little bit? Wilkinson now holding the ball, and that's a great ball. Taylor is now through for the Pilgrims. Can he latch onto that? He can't. Good covering challenge from Fear and the Knox County substitute. And Chris, the Pilgrims certainly coming alive from an attacking point of view. Yeah, good play. Uh, good play from Ben Gordon out on the left hand side there, and uh, yeah, good. Uh, Ball into Tom Wilkinson, who turned his man and played it out wide, but uh, unfortunately the pace of the left-back was a little bit quicker than the, uh, the right-winger. United with a throw-in pretty much next to the corner flag, which Hardstaff will take. He throws it in field to Lewis Allen. He's trying to find a nice, nice piece of footwork to get it across. Ta Ashton Taylor with the cross, hanging in the air, not dealt with initially, but away by Ben Garwood for a United throw in which Robson is going to take over on the far side here at the North Home. Midway inside the Knox County half. Plays it back to Finn Armand, the captain. What's he going to do with it? He's going to try and toss it into the box. It's not very accurate. It's cut out by Cameron Smith. And away come Knox County with Fressel now well out of his goal and a good piece of mopping up there, Chris, to ward off the danger at Palmer's feet. Yeah, good lad, he was uh, he was off his six-yard line as quick as anything and uh, intercepted, no problem at all, and uh, made a good clearance halfway into the uh, the opposition half, so uh, good good defending from Jake. Second change of the evening coming up for the Pilgrims. It's Jack Basto, who we discussed a short while ago. He's coming on for his first appearance of the season, and I think it's Lewis Allen, another first time appearance today tired I think as the game's gone on but he's put in a good shift 74 minutes played here at the North Home and Jack Basto yes looks like he's now going to play as the furthest man forward so Tom Wilkins have been asked to drop a little bit deeper perhaps giving him a little bit of respite what have you got Jack Basto for these last 15 minutes or so it's still Boston United nil Notts County nil and a place in the first round of the FA Youth Cup what all the non-league clubs aim for and one of these two not that you really consider Knox County as a non-league club but one of these two will be in that first round in the next few minutes as the ball goes into the United box is it going to be Knox County it is they've scored it's an absolute mess from the Pilgrims point of view unfortunately and Knox County lead Chris and it wasn't particularly well dealt with no two centre halves really got mixed up a little bit really and the balls fell out to the uh, a little substitute uh, originally come on as a left winger and uh, swapped, uh, swapped sides and went out onto the right and uh, he picked it up and finished it first time. Put a side foot into the net, uh, yeah, well taken goal but uh, not great defending from the two centre halves. No, not at all and just as United were enjoying their best spell of the match, they now find themselves 
really up against it, unfortunately, with Solomon Miles, the substitute who we were saying has performed so well. He's been out on the left, switched over to the right, and there he makes the decisive impression on the game. It gives his side the lead, but United not finished yet. Waddington bringing them forward. What's he got to show? He's had a very adventurous shot from about 20 yards. There was never a shot on there, unfortunately. But he'd carried the ball forward and probably thought he'd earned the right to have a shot. Austin getting stuck in now. It's a throw-in to the Pilgrims inside the Notts County half. One by Armand. Off Cameron Smith. And Hardstaff will take it. It's going... No, it's not back to Armand. It's going forwards to Wilkinson. He holds it up. He is crowded out. And he gives... Well, I think Waddington gave the free kick away, unfortunately. And the time's really ticked by, Chris. We substitute was 74, goal was 75, and suddenly the Pilgrims only have about 10 minutes to save themselves from elimination. Yeah, but the, at least now they can actually come out and try and uh, take the game to uh, Notts County. I must admit, I mean, it's, uh, it's been a pretty defensive uh, display, but I think now they've got nothing to lose, have they? So, uh, you know, I'd like to think that they'll... Uh, I'll make use of uh, Jack Basto coming on up front alongside Tom Wilkinson and uh, and try and attack him a little bit more, really. But uh, this moment in time, the uh, centre half for Notts County is down. It took a whack and uh, looks to be struggling a little bit, really. Yep, that's Stern Irvine, the left sided centre half for Notts County. He's certainly taking, receiving some attention to his, uh, what's that, his uh, right shin from the Notts County physio. Goalkeeper looks relatively concerned for his teammates' welfare. He looks OK, though. His shin pad's going back on. I think he'll be OK to continue. He's going to have to come off to come back on again, which always seems a little bit daft, but rules are rules. And his teammate Harrison, the goalkeeper, will take this free kick for the Magpies as they look to see this out now here at the North Home. The lead... 1-0 courtesy of Solomon Miles, the substitute, his 75th minute effort profited on some indecisive, should we say, defending from the Pilgrims. It was a bit of a mess, unfortunately. There's no dressing that up, really. Lee Mitchell won't be too happy with that. But 13 minutes to play here in Gainsborough. Can United force a penalty shootout to add a bit of drama here on our first night of Boston United Live, which hopefully is reaching you loud and clear. Good pictures courtesy of Russell and Fred Dossett and commentary from myself, Craig Singleton and Chris Cook, the scorer of 181 goals during his playing days for the Pilgrims. Notts County coming forward. Fressel's out of his goal decisively. I think he's going to attract a foul. Yes, he is. Just uh, caught slightly late by Tyrese Palmer, the Notts County uh, centre forward, the captain. Um, not something you see nowadays really is it but uh, nice to see yeah <laughs> goalkeepers are a protected species as well, you know Chris they are they always were <laughs> <laughs> yeah just looking down at the team sheet Tyrese Palmer turns 18 on Boxing Day so he's got a nice festive birthday to look forward to he certainly the leader of the line tonight for Notts County he got the goal one of the goals in the last round at Chesterfield when they won and another in their victory at Lincoln City on Saturday morning. So he knows where the net is. United have kept him fairly quiet. They still... County still leads with that Solomon Miles strike on 75 minutes. They're on the attack, but Robson does really well again. He's... Uh, has he been the Pilgrims' best player tonight, Chris? Yeah, yeah, it's been outstanding, mate, really. Um, you know, I've been really, really impressed with him and, uh, and Ben Johnson, who I called Ben Gordon earlier on. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, Ben Johnson's an even more famous name, isn't it? But, uh, no, they've, they've, they've done well as a pair, I must admit. And, uh, yeah, they've, they've, they've probably been, like you say, the two outstanding players in the United team. Yep, Notts County protecting that 1-0 lead. They're looking for the second goal now that would kill the tie off you feel Snedden their playmaker is chipping the ball forward it's headed clear by Dilly picked up by hooked on by Waddington no man, United man in sight unfortunately but Finn Armand manages to hook the ball forward Wilkinson's after it but he's fouled his man 
You'd imagine he's pretty tired now as well, Chris. He's certainly put a lot of running into this. Yeah, and, uh, and like you say, for for an hour or 70 minutes, he's played up front on his own, running the channels and uh, trying to hold the ball up as well on his own. And, uh, you know, he's done well without... Uh, much quality service into him really so uh, yeah credit to him that he's keeping on going 10 minutes to play here at the north home boston united's temporary home until the the big move to the jakeman's community stadium happens in the next few weeks hopefully and what a fantastic venue it's going to be chris yeah really looking forward to it uh, just to see the, uh, the insides of the main stand um, I'm really looking forward to. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the pitch looks great. Uh, the surroundings looks fantastic and the main stand looks brilliant. So, uh, And the webcam can only show you so much. So I think um, all eyes on that main stand and when people are allowed in, we're hopefully going to do some tours of some sort in the not too distant future. So fans will be able to get a look inside, but not giving too much away just yet. Best way to be, isn't it? Keep keep people keen. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, isn't it? A once in a lifetime move. So I don't think you want to re reveal everything all at once. Uh, the, the chairman's been really uh, secretive, has he? And uh, closed <laughs> closed ranks and uh, keeping it like so, keeping us all excited, really. Johnson trying to get United on the attack. He couldn't quite force the ball through. It's cleared eventually by Irvine and Cameron Smith. Now on the Notts County left, he's driving his team forward, he plays it infield to Conway, across to uh, Jeeves, heavy touch from the Notts County midfielder, it's cleared back out wide to Ben Garwood, who's driving forward from right back, he's held up by, who is he held up by, Ben Johnson, at the expense of another Notts County corner, I think they're now into double figures for corners, you, you can't doubt Chris that they're, they're in one respect, they're good value for the lead, aren't they? Because they've, they've bossed the game, but I still maintain, apart from the goal, the Pilgrims have had the two other well, best chances. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and like you say, they've, they've looked the better side of the two, I must admit. But you know, Boston had two great chances uh, before and after half time, and uh, you know, could have sneaked the goal really, uh, but uh, unfortunately didn't take those chances and uh, forced to pay you with, uh, with 15 minutes to go. Can't see the number, but I presume it's Snedden to take for County. Swings it in, it's headed clear dominantly by Dilly, the United centre half. Notts County trying to pick it up on the edge, but United have won the ball. Can they make the most of this? They're not going to get that many more opportunities. No, they can't, unfortunately. Fear and the substitute does well to dispossess Taylor, who's going to try and win it back. It goes all the way back to Notts County's keeper, Bill Harrison. He's going to kick long, not particularly dominantly, but. Waddington can only head it out of play and Notts County win a throw in and Chris can the Pilgrims in these last seven and a half minutes create themselves a really presentable chance I think uh, now they've got two up front and uh, you know the, the lads are, are still looking to break and uh, you know play diagonal balls down into the channels you know I think that yeah, there's still hope there is Dilly doing the defending there for the Pilgrims he loses out to Conway he's got the ball back now is he going to get fouled he's not he's clips it up the line Wilkinson wins it oh, he's been penalised for a high foot but his high foot was only about well, he's trying to make that point to the referee is and he's right <laughs> his foot was not high because the defender's head was so low his foot is 18 inches off the ground and the referee's booked him for it it's uh, ridiculous <sighs> see it's Defender stuck his head down, so he gets a uh, he gets the free kick. Tom Wilkinson complains and uh, gets a yellow card. There you go, as a striker, eh? Yeah. Sympathy for him. <laughs> it is. It's uh, been defended pretty well tonight by Irvine and Heather at the back for County. They've uh, certainly marshalled it well. The but Jake Fressel has dropped across, helped out considerably there by Robson as United hang on to their FA Youth Cup hopes for another year. They've got five minutes or so to try and save this. Wilkinson's trying to close down the goalkeeper, but dealt with well by Harrison in the Magpies goal. Ball now back to his opposite number, Fressel. Is he going to bowl it short? No, I don't think he is. I think he's going to kick it long. But Wilkinson stood offside, so he's out of play. Goes wide left, Johnson now. 
he heads the ball on, he gets the better of Garwood just about taking on his man, right down in the far corner, in front of the Blues Club here at the North End. Johnson not fouled in the eyes of the referee, just fell over. And Miles, the goal scorer, tracks all the way back and wins his side possession. United now have a free kick midway, well, getting on for midway inside the Notts County half. Forward from Robson, he's looking for the run of Waddington, he's not found, it's cleared, Robson picks it up again and Notts County coming forward, they could really kill the game here if they can find their second goal. Cameron Smith driving forward on the county left, he cuts in field, he's beaten one man, he's not beaten the second and Finn Armand is fouled by Palmer, United have a free kick but they're running out of time, Six, 86 minutes played now here at the North Home, Boston United nil. Knox County won, courtesy of Solomon Miles in the 75th minute, just as United were enjoying their best spell of the match. Knox County capitalised on a bit of a de defensive mess, in all honesty. Uh, long ball not dealt with, bodies everywhere. And Solomon Miles certainly not passing up that opportunity. Ball is back with Robson on the United left. Out wide now to Johnson, his colleague, who done so well tonight in tandem, holding off. Miles is fouled. United have a free kick midway inside the county half. Everyone forward. That's what Lee Mitchell's saying. Come on. Potentially one of your last chances now. Do you want to take this to penalties if you can? Ashton Taylor coming over from the right hand side to whip it in. Right footed. Number seven for the Pilgrims. Fortunately, not to be booked a few minutes ago for that took back on Irvine. He got away with it. Can he now have a decisive? impact in an attacking sense he's going to clip this in Dilly's at the back post Taylor Jane the 16 year old he's forward as well it's quite a straight ball it's Taylor Jane a strike can the United give another effort here Ben Robson oh I think that was the substitute Chris he struck it pretty well what a impact that would have had for the young defender coming on as uh, as like we say an under 16 player really biggest night of his youth life tonight in front of a reasonable crowd here of 125 at the north end just watching the replay again as Taylor whipped it in now I'm doing, doing Jack Basto an injustice it was Jack Basto the other substitute a ferocious shot blocked to safety and Notts County survive they're 1-0 up now with three minutes of normal time remaining maybe a little bit of added time there have been two or three stoppages a bit of cramp one or two injuries Another player, I think, uh, has had a good game tonight. Uh, Bailey Dilly, I think, he's been, uh, you know, really good at centre half. Um, like I say, I think he's normally a full back, but he's, uh, he's performed well at centre half tonight. Unfortunately, the goal did come with a uh, bit of a mix-up between himself and the, and the, and the young 16-year-old uh, that come on a sub. But uh, uh, credit to him, they've, uh, they've put in a good performance. Notts County, looking for this killer second goal. Cameron Smith, Dilly's. Not able to stop the cross, but Fressel comes flying out. Superman-like, grabs it with both hands. He's launched it forward, looking for Basto or Wilkinson. But Irvine, you'd imagine, he's going to mop this up. He does. And, but it's won back by Armand in the United midfield. Who can he find? He's played it forward. I think Basto's going to be offside. He is. He could have done with leaving that because Ashton Taylor was potentially in a better position to whip that ball in. Not that he was to know that, potentially. And he knew as soon as he jumps the ball, the flag was going to go up. United, again, the physio's on, so there's going to be, there is going to be a considerable bit of time when you think of the, the three or four injuries that have occurred. Joe Hardstaff now down, but Chris, we said, is that opportunity going to arrive? It, it doesn't look like it is. We've got 90 seconds left. No, it's um, you know it's uh, a bit disappointing at the end of the day. We've you know we've been the second best team on the pitch tonight, but uh, you know the lads have given everything that they've got, and uh, unfortunately you know, the the best team on the night has actually looks as though they've won the game. But uh, the lads have haven't let themselves down at all. It's uh, you know they've given everything they've got, and uh, you know some good performances out there. Two lads on the left hand side. Yeah, very, very good performances, and uh, Bailey Dilly as well, showing that he's actually been playing men's football, and uh, you know he's, he's handled the physicality of the big centre forward, so he's, he's done well. And presumably the key for this team, for any team that goes out the FA Youth Cup, is to carry that on into your league programme because I think it's inevitable that the fizz goes out of your season a little bit once you lose these big nights where you do sometimes can attract a few hundred supporters. 
you go back to Wednesday afternoons where you, there's nobody there. It's it's the bread and butter, isn't it, that that's going to get you progressive progression in football. Because it's, it's like our first team at the same time, isn't it? You know, we're not going to go to the final of the FA Cup, are we? So, uh, you know, you just go as far as you can, enjoy it while it's there and uh, get back to the bread and butter. Looks like United are going to be forced into their final change. Joe Hardstaff's down. Been a lot of uh, sort of shin shin injuries tonight. The, the more often than not, as a player been spread out with his leg out, physio looking at him. Yeah, I think he actually made a block tackle there on the edge of the box, and um, sometimes when you make a block tackle, it could be your ligaments either side of your your knee. Um, and, he, and, he, and he is struggling, to tell you the truth, even just to walk off the pitch. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me if he's got uh, a little bit of uh, ligament damage there. Another youth team debut for an under-16 player now in Jake Henderson. So two under-16s players now part of the United back line. Not good for the players necessarily that have been injured, but it's good for the United youth setup, isn't it, that these players are a fast track ahead of time as such. Yeah, yeah, and that's what it's there for, isn't it? Say, so we can call on the call on the young ones to, to bring them through. Um, you know, uh, chairman's invested heavily in the uh, youth set up from the day he took over, really. Um, having to self-finance it, I think, for the last 10 years. So uh, it cost the club a lot of money. But um, it'd be nice to nice to see uh, one of the youth lads come through to the first team and, uh, and, and prove to everybody that uh, this youth system is worth it. Knox County on the attack. Snedden, opportunist strike from distance. That was never really troubling. Jake Fressel in the United goal. We're a minute into added time. You would imagine there'd be four or five minutes, potentially, given all the stoppages. So United still looking for that one opportunity to take this match to penalties. Fressel now to kick long into the Knox County half. It's won by Heather, the impressive Knox County centre half. It's headed on by Jeeves. Jeeves wins, uh, retrieves the one-two back from Palmer. He's driving down the right-hand side. Cuts back in field to Snedden, who I would argue has been the best player on the pitch tonight. He's now back to fear, and it's all the way back to Knox County keeper Harrison. What can Wilkinson do? Can he force him into a mistake? No, it goes long. It's not the best clearance, but he's got reasonable distance, and Ben Robson can only head that out of play for a Knox County throw-in, which Wilkinson is retrieving for them, saying, come on, hurry up. We've potentially only got two or three minutes of our FA Youth Cup campaign left here. Let's give it one last shot to keep that opportunity alive of progressing to the first round in a couple of weeks away at Earlham from the Manchester area. But it looks like United are virtually done, unfortunately. They have a throw-in in their own half. Robson throws it forward. It's cleared over the stand. That's another ball gone. Brilliant. Garwood with the clearance. It's Robson again. Can he throw long this time? It's into the feet of Waddington. He flicks it on. It's not near a colleague. It's... Oh, no. Another one gone. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. <laughs> Nearly the end of the game, mate. They're making sure that time goes by. They're doing a good job here, aren't they? Not scared. They're defending... Not defending for the lives, but they're defending properly as you'd say they're not taking any chances we'll have to invoice them I uh, will uh, ball goes in from Robson to substitute Henderson the under 16s player he's playing in the United midfield the ball goes all the way through and it's a Knox County goal kick and time really is slipping away now Chris with three minutes into injury time and it looks like Knox County have done enough yeah I think so the referee should blow his whistle any time now really but uh, the lads have put on uh, you know, a, a good effort against a, a far superior side I think really and uh, never really got older Snedden in midfield um, you know he's dictated play really and, uh, and, and we've let him do that but uh, you know it's a uh, like I say got a good effort but just not quite good enough on the night Harrison to kick long for Notts County, still potentially a couple of minutes to go given all the stoppages and Henderson is up, uh, it's a throw in to Notts County, I thought it may have come off the head of a Notts County player but uh, the throw in is given to the Magpies which Fearon, the Notts substitute will take, he's just in front of us, just over the halfway line here on the main stand side at the north end, he lobs it forward looking for Palmer, he's dispossessed but it comes out to Sned and plays a clever ball through and Cameron Smith is offside. United have got a free kick, which Smith won't let them take. I think he could be 
getting booked if he's not careful. Fressel retrieves the ball. He's going to kick long. Everybody forward for United. But it's won by the smallest man on the pitch, Solomon Miles. That's not what United were looking for. Johnson to take. He's looking for a colleague, but he may as well take it himself because there is very little time left in this game. And Waddington looking to get forward down the left-hand side. Waddington now with his own throwing back to Johnson. What can United conjure in these last seconds? It goes in to the box. It's fallen kindly for Knox, but it's cleared. Henderson, debutant tonight, lobs it into the box. It's looking for Basto. It's Waddington, not be able to clear. Finn Armand, he's clipped it over the top and out for a Notts County goal kick. And Chris, full-time, Boston United nil. Notts County won, Solomon Miles... The match winner with a 75th minute effort, a real scruffy goal. I think the right team have gone through, but United gave it a pretty good go. They did, yeah, like you say, chance before half time, chance after half time, didn't take either, and punished with 15 minutes to go with a scrappy goal from Notts County. Mistake by probably the centre halves colliding with each other and the uh, ball falling to the right winger, Miles, and uh, he side footed into in the net past, uh, past Jake. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, like I say, beaten by the better side on the night and uh, you just have to accept that. But a good showing from the Pilgrims to the brink of the competition proper. Now the attention switches.